critics say that despite its uninspiring handling, the 2016 Kia K900 stacks up well against its pricier class rivals thanks in part to its limo-like rear seats. The 2016 Kia K900 comes standard with a V6 engine that provides adequate power. The available V8 is strong, though some luxury rivals have more potent engine options. Both engines are mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission that shifts smoothly. The base K900 gets below average fuel economy for the class, earning an EP estimated 1726 mile per gallon city highway. When cornering, the K900 feels heavy and has a fair amount of body lean. The ride is mostly smooth, but some class rivals are more athletic. The Kia K900S interior is attractive and uses high-end materials throughout, putting it nearly on par with German rivals. The front seats are roomy, and the rear seats are especially spacious and luxurious. The K900S trunk space is a bit below the class average. Though it lacks a rear seat entertainment system and some other high-end technology options offered by competitors, the K900 still has numerous standard and available features for its price. Test drivers say the 2016 Kia K900 is great for road trips and delivers the relaxed driving experience that a luxury car should. The base V6 engine has sufficient power, and the optional V8 is strong, though the engines in some rival luxury cars are stronger. The K900S ride is generally smooth. However, many competitors are more agile than the K900, which often feels heavy when cornering and exhibits a fair amount of body lean around turns. The 2016 K900 comes standard with a 3.8-liter V6 engine that puts out 311 horsepower. A 5.0-liter V8 that produces 420 horsepower is available in the V8 luxury trim. An 8-speed automatic transmission is standard. With the V6 engine, the K900 gets an EP estimated 1726 mile per gallon city highway which is below average for the class. The K900 SV6 engine delivers adequate acceleration. The V8 has plenty of power, though some class rivals still offer stronger engines. The 8-speed automatic transmission delivers silky gear changes and downshifts willingly when the situation calls for it. Rear-wheel drive is standard on the K900. The cabin is well isolated from outside noise and the ride is mostly smooth. However, the K900 lacks the adaptive suspension option found in some rivals, which makes it less stable over rough roads and contributes to its heavy feel and noticeable body roll when cornering. The K900S steering could also be sharper. Handling and braking, the 2016 Kia K900 has a stunning interior filled with premium materials, according to critics. They say it is nearly on par with German rivals that represent the pinnacle of large luxury cars. Both rows of seats are spacious, and the rear seats provide a limo-like feel for passengers. The infotainment system's control knob is fairly easy to use, though the system's on-screen menus can be complicated. The K900 has slightly below average trunk space for the class. Seating the 2016 K900 seats 5 and comes standard with leather upholstery, power-adjustable front seats, heated and ventilated front seats, and heated rear outboard seats. Available features include upgraded leather upholstery, front seats with additional power adjustments, power or reclining rear seats, ventilated rear outboard seats, and a heated steering wheel. Interior Features the K900S cabin is quiet. The front seats have so many adjustments that finding a comfortable driving position is easy. Both rows of seats offer plenty of room, but the rear seats are especially spacious and luxurious. Standard features in the 2016 Kia K900 include a panoramic sunroof, proximity key, push-button start, Drizzen automatic climate control, front and rear view cameras, front and rear parking sensors, 
and the Evo infotainment system with voice recognition, navigation, HD radio, Android Auto, two USB ports, Bluetooth, a 14-speaker audio system, satellite radio, and a 9.2-inch touchscreen. Kaya's Uva Luxury Services system is new for 2016 and comes standard. It includes roadside assistance features and allows you to download an app that lets you lock and unlock your car, start it, and adjust climate settings from your smartphone. Cargo, despite the many standard and available features, the K900 still lacks some amenities, such as a rear seat entertainment system, that class rivals provide. The infotainment system's rotary control knob is fairly intuitive, though the on-screen menus are complex and may frustrate some drivers. Some of the buttons in the cabin don't have the high-quality feel that you expect in this class. On a positive note, the available Lexicon audio system delivers impeccable sound. Thank you.